welcome back to our channel so today we are doing something that I guess quite a lot of people are doing when the hairdressers are short especially if you've got coloured hair or you've got greys like me um, so we are having a go at doing our own hair Ellen is going to do mine and I'm going to do hers so the plan is, is this mine or yours? yours right so this is the colour I'm going to use this is supposed to be quite a, like a moisturising one. I haven't used that brand before, but we'll see how it goes. 60% oils into it, so it's going to be good. Yeah. So, what we're going to do, Ellen has seen this video. What's that guy called? Brad Mondo. Brad Mondo. So, as we've got some like highlights, lighter colours, I'm going to try and save some of, pick up some of the blonde, keep them separate in foil. And then dye the rest of the hair so hopefully we still get a little because bit of if you see highlights my, if you see my hair it's got all this roots now so it's like from there it's brown up and i just don't like it yeah. so i'm gonna keep like a few bits of blonde and then get it like um this like we do the hairdressers the hairdressers and like i don't know but yeah. i'm just so we thought we would share with you and then we're also gonna give each other a bit of a trim aren't we yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is going to be a bit nerve-wracking we'll see down, how yeah. it turns out so wish us luck guys Ellen is busy cutting the foils I thought they should be a little bit wider than that and I've well, just, are you doing, are you doing and I've just had a little bit of a go because they're a little bit raggedy but we'll see how we get on she doesn't like criticism, do you love? I don't. I, d I don't mind criticism. It's just, are you going to be? She's keep keeping tiny little pieces that big. So why does she need something like that big? Okay. To do it. Okay. Do chill. It chill. So do you want to show what colour you're using? Um, I've taken it out now. All right. Eleanor's is a light now. brown, so we try to match it up with what her natural colour is, and she wants to keep some blondes. We said we're keeping blonde. Yes. Yeah. So she's got that number six light brown. So we'll see how that comes out, won't we? How yeah, much? We how much hair can I cut off? You Just the ends. This much. Right. Just the dead ends. Yeah. Am I shaping it round your face or anything? No, I'm just doing a straight cut. Like right. I'm doing. Okay. So here we are in Eleanor's hair salon. She's going to put the files in, so you're just going to pick a few blondes. Why did that take you so long to figure out? I don't know. Do you still want to be a hairdresser? Yeah. Yeah. Hairdresser rather than beauty therapist? Yeah. Then you like fold it in on itself, don't you? Would it be easier if you'd had it a bit thicker? Turn the camera off, please. I'm getting the Right, thing. guys, we've had a change of plan because our little foil thing didn't work. The hair falls out. I've tried it on Eleanor's and we've realised that, you know, usually when you're getting colour put on your hair, that's what makes the hair stick to the foil. So we're going to dis now decided that we're going to just pick the bits out and try and just put them in a bobble so we'll show you if, if that works so what you have to do now is you put you've got this little developer pot you put the developer cream in all of it and then you put in the color you put on the lid and you shake it up and what we've had to do for the highlights is just this which is we'll see how it works and the same on my hair right so Give it a good shake. Oh, it's on my fingers. Mm. We've got the old towel that's already got colour on it. Putting on the gloves. Yeah, start at the roots. You're getting to be an expert at this, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> then when it's all on you leave it on for 30 minutes 30 minutes yeah 
You filming the Disney one? So I've got it. Have you got it all on now? Yeah, I'm just like swishing it around just yeah. to make sure it's fully. So you started at the roots and then worked into the ends. Yeah, but then sometimes I did it at the ends and then went up a bit yeah. more. Cause it was just you just need to wipe round so I don't get stained. When you go to the hairdressers, you get a bit stained though. Look at it, Mum, mm. it's already going brown. Is it? Look, can you see? Mm. It's stinging a bit, that, on my face, actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. But at least it's not, it's weird, it actually looks fully brown right now. Mm -hmm. And you've got to keep So I need to put the timer on, don't I, for 30 minutes now? We'll just see what time it is. Okay. Was there plenty of product? Because you thought you were going to run out, didn't you? I didn't think I was going to run out, but I think if you have a bit longer, because my hair's probably around, right there on yeah. me. I think if you had a bit longer than my hair, you'd probably need two bottles. Oh, okay. Because me and Mum have quite thick hair as well, so... Mm. These bits are always trickier around the hair. Just lift ever. it up. That's what I had to do. Do the mm. ends first. And then you like rub it in with the ends. Well, you are supposed to do the roots, really, because you, that's not been coloured before. What do you mean? The roots have got no colour on them, so they don't need, they need longer to take. Because you spent too much time on this top front bit. Are you sure? Is there going to be a knot? Mum? Yeah. Here we are guys, here's the finished product. So mine is very dark, isn't it? Yeah. You like it, don't you? I must say, yours is lighter, isn't it? So I think yours... And Looks more like it. your natural colour. Yeah, this is like my natural colour with like highlights yeah. in it, so I don't need to worry about it growing in, so I can just leave it. So, the actual hair colour itself, I wouldn't use that again. My hair doesn't feel that soft and it doesn't look that shiny. And I also, feel mine, mine feels soft. Yeah, yours doesn't. But putting it on was a nightmare for Eleanor. Yeah, it just, there wasn't enough and <laughs> It just made your hair go really you knotty see, and you, it was really so hard to get an even. Bits, because I kept yeah. some blonde bits, it doesn't look quite bad, it looks quite nice. I feel mine is a little bit patchy, so it's it's not the best home dye I've, I've ever used. It's not the used. best, but I don't think it's the worst, because yeah. it could be a lot worse than this, especially when you're starting from, like... It's alright. When you're starting from, like, a really light yeah. blonde and then you're dyeing it really dark brown it can go red but mm. luckily it didn't do that so that in that case it is a good dye because yeah. you know i mean to put a red tone at it, least it's I got really, rid of our roots really like this because i was oh, having I like really now. bad it's not can you see the highlights that we left out yeah you can see it on mine anyway look oh and we decided against cutting each other's hair yeah. tempers got a little bit frayed to be honest didn't they, Eleanor? Yeah. Eleanor was getting a bit upset because they weren't enough to put on. Um, and I was struggling to cover it all, so we've decided against the cutting. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. Let us know what you're doing to keep your hair in order whilst the hairdressers are shut. Are you shaving it off? Are you dyeing it? What are you doing? So make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And take care. See you on the next one.